guys, I'm Megan Graham, and today I'm here to talk to you about how to monetize on YouTube channel 2021. For you to be able to monetize on your YouTube channel, you need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. When I was starting out about a year ago, I only had 300 subscribers and it went so slow. I think it took me about a year to get to my first 100 subscribers and I felt like I was never going to get there. Now, about a year ago, I learned a bunch of new tips and my momentum started going so quickly. So now I'm up right around 7,500 subscribers. I'm not one of those huge million subscriber YouTube channels. I'm a small channel, but I'm growing super rapidly. So I decided to make a video about how to grow your YouTube channel a little bit faster so you can get your channel monetized. Now, just in case you're wondering what I am making for money with my YouTube channel, this month I made with my affiliate um, amounts as well as my advertising that I get from YouTube, when YouTube is actually running ads on my videos, I made $1,700 this month. Now, that might not be a huge amount of money, but in addition to my job and the other things that I do with producing products, it's a great amount of income and it is always growing every single month when I'm working hard on my YouTube. So I just wanted to say that if you do want to monetize your YouTube, it can be a great way to earn extra money. And I'm going to give you 10 really easy and quick tips for how you can grow your channel faster and get to the point where you can be monetized. So number one is make sure to use music that does not have any copyright issues. I actually go to Epidemic Sound and I pay to use the service and I download my songs from there so that I won't have any copyright infringement issues. Number two is experiment at first. So make videos about anything that you feel like making. And as you start to see what's popular, what's doing really well, that might actually tell you what your niche should be. So guys, what do you think? Do you already have a YouTube channel? Are you thinking about starting one? I would love to hear what you are thinking about for potential topics. And also if there's anything that is holding you back from starting a channel. I know that I waited a really long time to start my YouTube channel and I wish I had just gotten over my fear and started it about 10 years earlier. Guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as hit the like button. I'm always working on growing my channel just like you are and it makes such a big difference to me. Okay, so number three is to be more animated than in real life. So if you're just sitting around talking to your friends, you may not have as much energy as you're going to have to need to bring to a video. So just kind of look at how you look when you're talking and realize that you might feel a little bit silly sometimes being super animated, but it's going to be more interesting for people at home. Number four is just start your channel. Don't sit around thinking about it. Start your channel. Don't worry about what people are saying. Don't worry if you have, you know, 15 followers and you feel like, you know, you feel stupid, you want more followers. Everybody has to go through it. Everybody has to start slowly. And if you don't start, you're never going to get there. So the sooner you start, the better. You can do it. You'll get better with time. You'll look back at your first videos and, um, you know, you won't necessarily judge them and think they're terrible, but just know that practice makes perfect and every single video you get is going to be more interesting, more fun, hopefully it's going to get more views. So start your channel and do not think about what anybody else thinks. Just, you know, write down your goals and go get it. So number five is get a good microphone. You don't need an awesome microphone. You could get a super cheap one off of Amazon. But if you have a good microphone, your sound is going to be so much better. And honestly, your picture doesn't matter as much as your sound. So get a cheap microphone, even if it plugs into your smartphone and invest in good sound call. <laughs> so get a good microphone, even if it's just something that like plugs right into your iPhone, the sound quality is going to make a huge difference for your videos. So guys, when you're trying to build up to a thousand subscribers, number six is just ask people to subscribe. So, you know, people may not think of it when they're watching your video, they're so into your topic. So make sure to stop and ask them to subscribe and don't wait until the end of the video because on YouTube, people may not be watching your entire video. So it's really important to just 
pause for a minute, talk to people, and you know, just tell them what your goals are. If you're working to be able to monetize your channel, you're going to want to stop and just say, hey guys, can you hit the like button? Can you hit the subscribe button? I have this goal, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers, and it's going to make a really big difference to me. I think when you appeal to people personally, they do want to help you out with your goals, and they realize that you're not just a person making videos, you're an individual that you know has these things that you're working on, and they want to help. I know that viewers have been super, super supportive of me. Number six is research keywords and see if anybody's even looking for videos like you are going to make. So for a little while I was doing vlogging and I just don't feel like anybody was really interested in my life. Last year was particularly boring, but I decided to branch out into more areas of knowledge that I'm interested in and other people are looking for those things. So if you want to know how to get started on researching keywords, um, there's a few different things. You could look at keywords everywhere on the internet, and you could also look at um, TubeBuddy at the Keyword Explorer. Both of those things are super helpful, and you might still want to make a video about something that is not looking super popular, and that's okay too. Just have fun and just get started. You don't have to make, you know, your videos are probably not going to be super perfect and your videos are most likely not going to be super popular and perfect at first, and that's okay. I mean, you wouldn't yell at a baby for crawling before it walked, so don't be judgmental about your videos and whether they're good enough at first, just get the videos done. So number seven is that if you have not heard of the YouTube video channel called Think Media, you should subscribe immediately. So I subscribed to Think Media, I think back in November of last year, and I feel like I learned so much amazing stuff. So I learned about niching down, making chapters, using keywords, different lighting things, how to edit. I mean, anything that you want to find is right on Think Media. It's free information, it's super, super motivating, and it's going to help you grow your channel a thousand times faster. Okay guys, be consistent. So don't make three videos in a week and then disappear for six months. You should write down your goals, write down a posting schedule and stick to it. So you don't have to do the exact same day. It's not like this religious thing where every Tuesday, every Thursday you have to post. But if you're just posting a few videos a year, your videos are never going to pick up traction. So I try to post at least two videos a week and I really stay on that schedule. And so that tells my viewers that they can always expect videos from me and that tells YouTube that I am a consistent producer of content and the YouTube algorithm loves that. Guys, my last tip is just have faith. Know that anything that you do in your life is going to get better and better and if you want to monetize, you have to set your sights to it and realize that on the path to getting monetized, it is going to be a lot of work. You're not going to be making money in that time for what you're doing, but you have to keep your master goal in mind. So it was a little bit tough for me when I was really reaching for that thousand subscribers. I would honestly say that getting your first thousand subscribers is a lot more difficult than getting your next 10,000 subscribers, but it is so worth it. It feels so good and YouTube is an amazing, uh, it's an artistic platform. You can teach so many people, you can reach so many people. So I just wanna say, please don't give up while you're working on getting monetized. I'm so excited about what this channel is going to do this year and I hope that this video was helpful for you. Guys, I hope you have a great day, stay healthy, stay beautiful, and I will talk to you soon.